hey guys and welcome back to the fourth video of the bash scripting tutorial now before creating a first bash script you should be well aware of the shell navigation and the difference between relative and absolute path so in this video we are actually going to do that we are going to discuss what is a relative and what is a absolute path and what are the differences between these two so an absolute path is a full path specifying the location of a file or directory from the root directory or the start of the actual file system so here in this example since this path starts with a slash it indicates that it is an absolute path because it will always start with a slash if it is an absolute path then all directories names in the absolute path are written in hierarchy order which means home is the parent directory of tanzil directory tanzil is the parent directory of desktop directory then the last name in an absolute path may belong to a file or directory which means so this can be a file or a directory but except the last name all the names in an absolute path will be directory only so all these three are directory and the last name may or may not be a directory depending on the chosen file or directory if we have chosen a file then obviously the last name will be a file otherwise it will also be a directory and except the last name all of them will be a directory only then the absolute path of the current directory can be determined by using the pwd command so let's see in example so let's first of all check the present working directory so i'll just write pwd and you can observe this is a absolute path because it starts with a slash a forward slash and it is in hierarchy which means home is the parent directory of tanzil and the last name in an absolute path may or may not be a directory it can be a directory or it can be a file but except the last one all the other will be a directory only let's see the content of this directory so i have these many files in the directories so let me just open desktop folder using absolute path now to use absolute path to change directory we will have to use the absolute path like this and then i'll add forward slash desktop and you can observe that now the present working directory is desktop so that's how we use absolute path if you want to work with directories if you want to change or jump from directories and um, while using absolute path then we will have to mention the entire path starting from the home directory in this manner so it's very tedious sometimes so instead of that we prefer to use relative path so in relative path we talk about location of a file relative to the current working directory and it will never start with a slash instead it will begin with the ongoing work directory or the ongoing working directory now let's see some examples of relative path so in relative path a single dot resolves to the current directory which means if i write cd space a single dot and then hit enter then it resolves or navigates to the current directory and if we use double dot with cd then it's going to navigate to the parent directory of the current active directory so the present directory is desktop and if i write cd space dot dot then it should take us to tanzil directory let's hit enter and let's write pwd and it has written us to the tanzil folder the tanzil directory let's try to open desktop folder using relative path so i'll just write cd space now here i just have to mention desktop i don't have to write the entire absolute path like we did the last time when we are talking about the relative path then we just have to write the folders name we don't have to start from the home directory or the root directory so we are talking about a path which is relative to the current directory since the current directory is this one tanzil and within this directory we have these folders desktop documents downloads so i can directly open it up without writing the entire path so i'll just hit enter now and you can see desktop folder is the present working directory now now let's say we want to return back to the 
home directory so i'll just use tilde command cd space tilde and if we hit enter it takes us back to the home directory so by now you might have observed that we can easily navigate throughout the file system with the help of these two commands that is cd and pwd using both the relative and the absolute path and we are going to use relative path a lot while we are working with the shell scripting so i just wanted to give you a brief idea or the brief introduction regarding absolute path as well as the relative path so that's all for this video in the next video we shall start with the hello world bash script so thanks for watching